Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful and short game for you played by Rashid Nezhmeddinov playing with the black pieces and his opponent is Samsonov. The game was played in 1929. Let's see how the game went on. White started with e4, e5 by black, knight c3, this is the Vienna game, knight f6, f4, d5, we see Vienna gambit, f takes e5, knight takes e4, knight f3, bishop b4, queen e2, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, bishop g4, queen b5 check. Well, a better move is bishop a3, controlling this a3 f8 diagonal, but we see queen b5 check in the game and c6, a dubious move. According to Nezhmeddinov, a better move is knight c6. If queen takes b7, then black can simply pay no attention that the knight on c6 is hanging and castle kingside. If queen takes c6, then bishop takes f3, and if h4, then bishop g4, and black is much better. Let's go back. We see c6 in the game, queen takes b7, bishop takes f3, and queen takes a8. Well, taking on f3 is better, though of course after queen h4 check king d1, knight f2 check king e2, knight takes h1, queen c8 check, queen d8, queen takes d8, king takes d8, bishop g2, rook e8, d4, knight d7, bishop takes h1, f6, black has an advantage. But let's go back, we see queen takes a8 in the game. And now comes bishop takes g2 by Nezhmeddinov. This is a bad move. A better move is castling kingside. If queen takes a7, then queen h4 check, g3, queen h5, d3, queen takes e5. And of course, black has a compensation for the sacrificed material. Let's go back, we see bishop takes g2 in the game and bishop e2, this is already a blunder by white. Taking on g2 is not so bad as it looks. Well, if queen h4 check, then king e2, castling king side, queen takes a7, c5. Though black is a rook down, but black has a strong attack and on the other hand, this continuation is of course better for white rather than playing bishop e2 in the game, instead of taking on g2. And this bishop e2 move allows black to checkmate his opponent in a very beautiful way. Queen h4 check, king d1, knight f2 check, king e1. Well, can you checkmate your opponent like Nezhmeddinov? Ready? Knight d3 check, king d1, and now comes this amazing queen sacrifice. Rook takes e1 and knight f2 checkmate. What a checkmate by Rashid Nezhmeddinov. A classical example of a smooth third mate in the center of the board. Your comments and questions please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.